working on a 2003 Hyundai Elantra. It has a miss, has recorded a misfire on cylinder number three. I'm using the injector test, disable injector number two, and it makes no difference. And here the engine doesn't change. So I'll exit back out and I'll pick injector number three. shut off again because it's going to fool me. Well, I'm going to disable injector number three with the cooling fan running. You can hear it makes a significant difference. Turn it back on. Okay, now I'll do it again with the cooling fan not running. Definitely makes a difference. But here's the interesting thing. Here's injector number three's waveform. And you can see it's not disabled on injector number three. it in injector three, there's one, there's two, there's three. I'm going to go back to the scope here. I'm going to disable injector number two. Okay, so it says disable injector two. Disable it. There's no change in the way it runs. But you can see the waveform is indicating injector number three has been turned off and the scan tool is saying it's turning off injector two. Now I've turned it back on again and you can hear there's no change in the way it runs. Conversely, if I use a grounded pick, which I have here, to short out spark plug wires, this doesn't lie. That makes a difference. That makes no difference. Cooling fan just kicked back in. That makes a huge difference. And that makes a difference. So this is cylinder number three. As you can see, you can follow this plug wire. One, two, three. Cylinder three. The cylinder three has a problem for sure, but the scope in testing of the snap-on scanner here, testing injector number two is actually killing injector number three. So there's an error in their programming. I guess we'll check for spark and fuel delivery. I'm sure we got fuel delivery on that injector. But uh, looking at the waveform, about the current wrap. So I got an adjustable spark tester on the spark plug wire going to number three and as you can see there's good spark so I guess we'll check the spark plug and possibly compression next. Well the spark plug looks pretty decent there's no signs of carbon tracking on the insulator there's no cracks it's not carbon fouled but that doesn't mean it's not defective could try another spark plug in there temporarily but well I think I got it out I think we're gonna check compression okay so I've removed the starter relay Install the remote start switch across pins 30 and 87 of the starter relay. Got the compression gauge installed in cylinder number three. And I'm going to crank it over and we'll have a look at the compression, see if I can get it. So we definitely don't have a compression problem. We've got about 180 psi of compression. So. I'm going to try another spark plug in there, just because I have it out now. Swap it with another cylinder or just try another plug. Swap the plug between cylinders 2 and 3, so the spark plug that was in number 3 is now in 2 and vice versa. I'm going to short out cylinder number 3 again, and as you can see it makes no difference. So 
but we definitely have a problem with number three. Even though injector waveform looks normal, what happened to my waveform? I guess I lost the ground or something. Okay, so we got a proper injector wave on cylinder number three. So I put a propane bottle here, and I'm going to turn on propane and put it down around the injector. You can hear it change. Now it's missing again. So that O-ring or intake manifold is leaking around the base of that injector. So I'm going to try to smoke in this thing and see if I can identify exactly where it's leaking. I have the smoke machine installed, connected to the vehicle battery. I took off the fresh air PCV hose. And we're going to turn it on and we're going to look for smoke around the intake. Well, I'd say we have a significant leak here. See if we can pinpoint exactly where it's coming from. It's a little bit too much smoke. Yeah, it's leaking around the intake port, so it needs an intake gasket set.